This is Kofi Kemet coming to you live and direct from Black Fact Central here in lovely Kent, Ohio with another installment of the Black Facts Challenge 2020. Coming to you today, we're making no bones about somebody they call Mr. Jones. You better call him Mr. because this ain't your sister. This is somebody who... If you come in contact with him, you may feel like you just encountered a twister. That's right, because he's liable to leave a blister right on your nose. That's what I'm talking about. You best be on your toes. We're talking about none other than the Gorilla, Gorilla Jones. That's right, Akron's first million-dollar boxer. Not the first black million-dollar boxer, just the first million-dollar boxer from Akron, period. He was good. He was very good. He was not a heavyweight. I don't even think he was light heavyweight. He was fighting either middleweight or welterweight, as they called it at the time. And he um, he fought quite a few fights. He, he rarely lost. But in the end, he had to figure out a way to segue into his later life. And when he met Mae West, he decided to head west with her. He ended up in sunny California, Los Angeles, the city of angels, hanging out with Mae West, acting as her chauffeur and her bodyguard. Now, if you are not familiar with Mae West, she was a uh, a buxom lass, and she was a uh, she was who Marilyn Monroe was trying to be. Marilyn Monroe tried to be Mae West. Now she came close, but not quite. If you recall, you may have seen Mae West in a movie or two, and she had this line she liked to say, Why don't you come up and see me sometime, big boy? Yeah, that's a really famous line of hers, but apparently she was a very witty, quote-unquote, sex goddess. So she had a lot of witty lines. Check her out. What you see now on TV is nothing compared to what we used to see back in the day. So... Her uh, her witticisms are coy, but the woman was still not a toy. She used a, level, a lot of double entendre, which most of you probably don't know what that means. But look it up. That's double, D-O-U-B-L-E, entendre. E-N-T-E-N-D-R-E, -E, entendre. Yeah, that's a word you should know. Check it out, and hopefully you'll even be able to win some dough. All you have to do is answer 24 questions correctly. We'll put you in the drawing to win cash prizes, plus a pack of some of the cards that we're holding right here in front of us. You'll win a pack of eight cards, plus one of our books over here of the, up on the Ohio's Black Athletes, full of images inside that you can add colors to, like we've done on the cards. Keep in mind, one of these cards is going to be worth a million dollars, and it's all up to you. What is it? What is what is the card? What are the cards worth to you? That's the real question. What are they worth to you? If you treat them like they're worth a million, they will be worth a million. If you treat them like they're worth two cents, they'll be worth two cents. So I don't have to sit here and try to convince. I'm just giving you a clue as to what to do. When you get your cards, when you get your book, treat it like it's worth a million dollars because it could be to you. So enough for today. We'll check you again on another date. Peace out because we're leaving no doubt. What you get from us might make you shout.